Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie and it's great to be with you today. We have a great story for you today about forgiveness, but before we hear it, join me to sing about how we can be just like Jesus.
Great job singing. For months and months now, we've been making our way through God's big story. We've looked at stories throughout the Bible from when God created the world to when God promised to bless the world through Abraham's family. We've seen how God worked in the lives of the Israelite people and brought them out of slavery in Egypt. We've seen how God spoke through prophets about the Savior who would come when the time was right. God's son Jesus was born in Bethlehem. When Jesus grew up, he taught amazing things about God and he healed people who were sick. Everyone wanted to hear what Jesus had to say. Today, we're looking at another parable Jesus told. You might remember that a parable is a short story that has a lesson that we can learn to help us live for God. And in this story, we can discover just how much God loves us and forgives us. Jesus told this story as he was teaching a group of tax collectors and other people who didn't really fit in. The religious leaders and teachers of the law were upset that Jesus ate with people they considered sinners. They didn't like how Jesus chose to spend time with people who had made mistakes or done wrong things. That day, Jesus told a series of parables. He told one story about a lost sheep and how the shepherd would do anything to find it. He told another story about a woman who had a lost and valuable coin and how she would search and search her house until she found it. The third story Jesus told was about a lost son. That's the story I'm here to tell you today. There was a man who had two sons. The younger son spoke to his father. He said, Father, give me my share of the family property. So the father divided his property between his two sons. Okay, but this was kind of a big deal back then because the younger son was asking for a part of the money and the things that the father owned. Normally, these things would be given to the sons after their father died. But the son said that he wanted his share of the money right then and there. Jesus' listeners would have thought that this was a very rude and selfish thing to do. How rude. But as Jesus said, the father gave what he owed to his sons. Not long after that, the younger son packed up all he had. Then he left for a country far away. The younger son decided he would do all the things he wanted to do. There, he wasted his money on wild living. He spent everything he had. Then the whole country ran low on food, so the son didn't have what he needed. <sighs> the son had wasted all of his money on things that wouldn't last. And before long, he had no money left at all. He didn't have a place to stay or food to eat. So what did he do? Well, he went to work for someone who lived in the country. That person sent the son to the fields to feed the pigs. The son wanted to fill his stomach with the food the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Gross, this son went to work feeding pigs? He was so hungry that he wanted to eat the slop that the pigs were eating. It was at this point that the son came to his senses. Jesus said, then he began to think clearly again. He said, how many of my father's hired servants have more than enough food? But here I am dying from hunger. I will get up and go back to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and I have sinned against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. I think that was a really good decision. How about you? The son decided he would just admit that he had been wrong and ask if his father would allow him to work as a hired servant. So he started the journey home. Now, just listen to what happened next. While the son was still a long way off, his father saw him. His father was filled with tender love for his son. He ran to him, he threw his arms around him, and he kissed him. That's amazing. The son said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer fit to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Let's have a feast and celebrate. The son of mine was dead and now he's alive again. He was lost and now he is found. So they began to celebrate. Wow, the father loved his son so much and was so happy he had come home that he decided to have a big feast and celebrate. As you can imagine, this was a huge surprise to the younger son. He expected his father to be angry with him, but the father loved and forgave his son. He welcomed his son home with open arms. Hold on now, because Jesus wasn't quite finished with his story. Remember the older son? The older son was upset that his younger brother had been so foolish and so mean and had made so many mistakes. 
But now their father was celebrating him. The older son refused to come to the party. He missed the chance to forgive because he was so angry with his brother. This is what the father said to the older son. My son, you are always with me. Everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad. This brother of yours was dead and now he is alive again. He was lost and now he is found. Jesus didn't tell the crowd what happened next in his story. I wonder if the older brother might have come inside to celebrate with his brother. Or maybe he held on to his anger and stayed outside alone. We do know that it was clear from Jesus' story that God is always there to forgive us. God is like the father in the story. No matter what we've done, God is always there to welcome us home. This is so important to remember. Our bottom line today, God will always forgive you. Let's pray and thank God for loving us. Dear God, thank you for this incredible story that Jesus told. It makes us feel so happy to know how much you love us. I know all of us can feel like the younger son when we've messed up, but you always forgive us like the father in the story. Thank you for the forgiveness you offer us through Jesus. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining me today as we learn about forgiveness this month. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.